Greetings, feline fans and loyal followers of the Paws and Purrs channel. Today, we unravel a feline mystery that has left many cat owners scratching their heads. Why do our beloved cats fight each other? Rest assured, we've got the answers. This common conundrum is going to be decoded with clear and concise explanations. So, sit back, relax, and prepare to gain some fertastic knowledge. Stay tuned as we delve into the exciting and mysterious world of feline behaviors. One of the primary reasons cats fight is due to territory and dominance. Let's dive in. Cats, by nature, are territorial creatures. They have a strong instinct to claim and protect their space. This can be anything from a favorite windowsill, a beloved patch of sunlight, or even the whole house. When you have multiple cats under one roof, these territorial instincts can spark conflict. Each cat may attempt to lay claim to the same spaces, leading to tiffs and tussles. Now, let's talk about dominance. In the wild, cats form hierarchical structures, with one cat often asserting its authority over the others. In your home, this natural behavior can translate into dominance disputes. You might observe one cat trying to control access to resources, like food or toys, or asserting physical dominance through body language and posturing. So if you see your cat squabbling, it might just be a dispute over who's the boss. Sexual maturity and mating behavior also play a significant role in cat fights. As our feline friends transition from kittenhood to adulthood, their hormones kick into overdrive. This is particularly true for males, who may begin to perceive other cats as rivals for potential mates. This, in turn, can lead to some serious cat fights. Now you may ask, how can we help mitigate these hormone-fueled brawls? Well, one effective solution is to spay or neuter your cats. Not only does this procedure help control the cat population, but it also curbs those aggressive behaviors tied to mating instincts. By removing the drive for reproduction, you're effectively eliminating one of the major causes of conflict. So, if you're tired of playing referee to your cat's wrestling matches, consider scheduling a visit to the vet for a spay or neuter procedure. Remember, altering your cats is not only good for population control, but it can also save you a lot of kitty drama. Another reason cats fight is something called redirected aggression. Now, what exactly is that? Well, think of it this way. Imagine you're having a bad day. Maybe you got stuck in traffic or spilled coffee on your new shirt and you come home and snap at someone. That's redirected aggression. Cats experience something similar. They might be upset about a loud noise, a strange smell, or even a new piece of furniture. But instead of addressing the source of their frustration, they take it out on another cat. Why? Well, cats are creatures of routine. Any change in their environment could potentially stress them out. And when they can't confront the source of their stress, they might redirect this frustration towards a more familiar target, like a fellow feline housemate. So, next time your cats fight, consider what might have upset them. It might not be about each other at all. Understanding why cats fight can help you keep peace in your feline household. Let's take a quick journey back through the main points we've discussed today. Firstly, we talked about territory and dominance. Our feline friends are territorial creatures and sometimes their disputes are all about claiming their space. They might be saying, hey, this is my spot on the couch, move along. Next, we dived into the topic of sexual maturity and mating behavior. Once cats reach a certain age, their hormones can lead to tussles, especially if they haven't been neutered or spayed. It's their way of saying, I'm ready to start a family, back off. And last but not least, we examined redirected aggression. This is when a cat can't reach the object of its aggression and takes it out on another cat instead. It's like they're saying, I can't get to that pesky squirrel outside the window, so I'll take it out on you instead. Understanding these behaviors can help you prevent cat fights and keep your pets happy and healthy. After all, a peaceful home is a happy home, right? We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the Paws and Purrs channel and activate notifications to never miss our future feline-focused content. Until next time, keep those paws purring.